ladies and gentlemen, 20 seconds of the first half on the countdown to the win. From Hackney, New Zealand, on his foot, on the news tonight, Petrol! You only get one pro debut. Yours only lasted 20 seconds, but how much did you enjoy that? No, it was good. It was um, good. Obviously, in the back, I'm um, learning that in the pros, sometimes it's not scheduled when you're going to fight, so you have to be um, constantly warm and just mentally switched on for it. So that was good in terms of a learning experience. And just in terms of getting out, um, I managed to keep my focus and not get overruled by the occasion. I was really switched on and really present, if that makes sense. So everything that was happening, I was switched on with it. So my corner speaking to me, Eddie speaks to me on the way in, everything. So that's, that's important to me. Early contender for knockout of the year without doubt. Talk us through the finish. Uh, I just remember my corner, um, Brian told me to just um, go out of their box and um, the shots will find themselves, just relax. And um, I remember catching him with a right hand and seeing that he was hurt. And then I wasn't sure if he was going down or not. So I followed up with another right hand and then um, he went down. When do you want to be out next? I know we'll come to Eddie Hearn in a minute, but when do you want to be back out? I'm out as soon as possible, as many times as possible, because it's about learning at this stage and also um, going for it. So hopefully I can get on uh, April 15th, if that's all right with you. Yeah. How tough is it? Everybody in their pro career, Cole Frotch sitting there, he would have done it, sitting backstage, taped up, ready to go, but you don't quite know when you're going to get on and then you have to calm down again. Yeah. It's part of the learning experience. Yeah, absolutely, because um, in boxing, it's, um, it's not just going and have a fight, there's a lot that goes on around it, um, but it's good that I've learned that um, today, so if it happens again in the future, I'm already um, okay with it. So it's just learning, I'm just learning, ready to go. Eddie, was that plenty of sauce like you uh, like you promised in the build-up? Yeah, loads of sauce, but he doesn't know it yet, but probably the biggest learning experience tonight was waiting. You know, we were praying for a stoppage. All we needed was one, and every fight went the distance, and it's like you have to go in. He was due to go before Lenares Crawler, then he has to wait an extra hour. Those kind of things are much more valuable than the 20 seconds that was in the ring tonight. So next time, probably Glasgow, be a different venue, different occasion. Might be an earlier fight this time. He's got to experience all these different things on the way to the top. Devastating knockout. We know he punches real, real hard. And he's going to move pretty quick, you know, because it's a light division. He's ready to go. He wants to do another fight now. But, you know, honestly, the most important thing was being at the press conference, being at his first weigh-in, being in the fight hotel, being in the change rooms, waiting, and, of course, the performance.